Okay. Uh, last time I uh, almost finished working on channels package, and uh, then I spent some more time to finish and push it uh, and publish it on PyPy, and it's available here, I think. Uh, and I've also spent some time to uh, yep, that's the runner that I've updated and uh, the runner now uses channels and here's oh, that's just the source code and I think if I log, log in I don't remember my password right now, but uh, well, oh, I think I, yeah, here, two libraries. Okay, well, uh, I've published it both, and uh, now it's time to actually use the code in the server. So for that, I need uh, to update my requirements file and. I'll write like this and I think this should work and let's see and yes it's updated. Now, I think I've used behave to check if it works. No, it's, it's doing something a little bit wrong. What's wrong? Oh, okay, that's in. Uh, oh, it's, it, it's in steps. I'm using run import here because second channel is no longer in runner channel, it's in channels channel. I've removed it from runner completely, so okay, it doesn't work. Because because there is an empty line, and that's why I actually oh, did all that work. And solution is simply to do this, and this should work now. Yep, everything's everything's great. Now let's see what other tests. We have written. I think I think that I want uh, okay now I have a presence message and I want an actual no it's that's actually a hello message. And now I want something like uh, when user one is connected this given user one is connected to service. Uh, I have uh, yeah, like this. Like this, and user one sees and this test fails, but why? Why? Because there is no such channel. Uh, 
I'm going to use oh okay yes because uh, there is no channel specified in steps and it's a step called brain sense yeah this here brain sends a message to me but it should be sending a message to user one and now the test fails because there is no such step as send, send something to a user and I have to implement it I will but now I have to somehow find this user and how do I do this? Um, well, uh, I think that fake brain should somehow store all the presence message. No, no, it's not a fake brain's task. Uh, I'll do it remotely. So I'll do, do it myself. Uh, Okay, how do I do this? I, I'll do it this way. I'll... No, 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 that's not something I want to do. Uh, I'll create a channels dictionary. Text plus this. And when there is a new presence message, I will register it. How? Oh, like this. Context. Uh, I only need just one channel. I don't need many channels yet. Well, that's just a test. So for user, I will just store the channel name, and now uh, it sends to user. No, it's wrong one. Here, user and context channels user like this. So, does it work? Nope. What's wrong? Oh. That's because the order matters. And now. Oh, yeah, this works. Great. That's the last test I actually need. So. Now, the brain sees that user is connected. Uh, when user sends a message to brain, the brain replies. And when a brain wants to send a message to user, given that user is connected, brain actually does it. So what doesn't work yet? And the reason is I'm skipping actual tests. I'm using fake brain but I'm not using real brain and that is because a real brain simply can't handle present message at all yet. For now I think I'll just commit all the changes. Uh, let's see, I have quite a lot of changes here. I've modified a lot of files but I think I should just commit this mm. Mm, just like this and uh, 
started uh, and point sense presence message to the brain and okay now let me just try and we'll, this will break and simply run the code and now wow wait it didn't break and somehow it worked <laughs> interesting uh, okay okay it actually worked so now instead I will try and use the remote connection I know that this one sends presence message and I will connect Um, isn't it actually sending anything? <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, well, once it gets, it should write a sending username for channel. Yes, there is such message. And it should send something to the brain, and somehow it doesn't break. Why? <laughs> Why it doesn't break? Uh, it actually. Oh, right. Of course. Uh, that's because I've already fixed this and well here is a little commit. Um, I thought that brain will be breaking when it sees a message without a text field and I tried it off screen and I found that it's true that it actually breaks and I fixed it and I forgot that I fixed it. So, here is the complete patch that changes the behavior and the brain only expects messages. Well, it, it gets all the messages, but if there is no text in that message, that is presence message for now, it simply ignores those messages. And I think that there are even some tests for this do I have any tests here? I probably have some tests okay that's a very light gray on a white I should change those colors really um, but now I also have a higher level test, don't I? I should have. Yes, I do have a test for this and um Yes, yeah, but there is no presence message at all. And of course, as you can see, I'm sending JSON messages directly. And uh, I can. Well, I can. Uh, switch to code that doesn't have that much and 
Oh, yeah, here. Here is the problem which I had without the, the change that I already did. So, when I simply add this presence message into this test and I will not create a new test and I'll make it a work in progress test and yes of course it fails It says it's no, it got no message, so instead it returns don't understand, and it says error instead of don't understand, and yes, that's exactly what I'm expecting. So it tries to respond to this message. It sees no text in that message. Oh, in fact, even if I fix this, yes, um, I can return to the code. Uh, I'm not at master great so now this test will fail again because it does not reply because I should be having this message format and now okay it didn't work again uh, there's something wrong with this. I'll just check the code. And it's not a Python, it's Lisp. So, yes, it expects a message field, not text field. And I have an incorrect and oh uh, well actually yes it's message not text so I should no ah oh right that's because I did not check out the required change uh, instead I should be using this yeah. that's a change wow interesting diverged. I just want to know what's the difference between those two commits. And there is no difference, it's just a different commit, so I should instead uh, and actually I switch to this commit and I done yes I'm back at my commit and the test should now pass uh, 
and yes it passes okay what else dun, 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 dun. Uh, and the application is started what's the step for application is started oh it doesn't matter yet so um I don't have any more tests here, so now it works. The brain is fixed and it should work now. It accepts a presence message and does nothing with that message. It only replies to any messages it gets and it copies all the channel information. It doesn't send any messages on its own, so it doesn't have to store any channel information yet and uh, probably the next feature I'll work on will be to uh, somehow send external messages to the brain and then it'll have to find a channel to communicate to a user and send message to that user and if there is no channel, it should wait until such channel appears. And, well, uh, the scenario I'm thinking on is that somewhere in deep in the night, or maybe early in the morning, um, the brain gets an event that it's a new day and it should say good morning to me but there is no channel to communicate to me and when in the morning I wake up and uh, turn on my PC a channel appears and the brain merely sends me the message and I will see a good morning message from brain and that's the plan and that's something I should be doing and it actually requires a client for this because the server will, will be running on my you know, server that I have in my closet and there should be some kind of client running on my PC okay so what next uh, let's see current state of brain I did a uh, 0.2.0 release some time ago, well, a bit over two months ago, and now I have this change I did three days ago, and I think that's it for brain. Brain currently works properly and I think I should write it down and uh, okay okay so I will have to write some documentation here and I'll some change here oh, that, that's simple one to write um, and again. I didn't fix that. Yes, now it's fixed. And I have this in change log. Yep, 
that's it. Uh, and I think I will release the new version of Brain soon. And I think that I will release a new version of Core because it uses the new version of Brain and it actually should work. In fact, let's see if I remove this and I remove this and I run all the tests. Will it work? And it works just nope, something is broken. Um, oh, yes, of course, and uh, that's because here <laughs> there is no this thing, and that's because. Uh, <laughs> It's in steps. I will quickly fix this one. Uh, given when I connect to the service and given I connect it to the service are two different things right now because when I connect to the service also given I connect to the service it also includes this so I think Yes, this worked. Okay, now all the brain, all the core tests are working with both fake brain and real brain. And well, now that's that's enough for now.